Well, it's another week of St. John's Extra, and today in our Spiritual Disciplines series, uh, before we move on to our next spiritual discipline, I actually want to just take a step back uh, and have another think about our first spiritual discipline uh, of studying the Bible. It's great to have a two-way conversation here on YouTube, uh, even though it's a lot uh, of a one-way street uh, in terms of me putting out content and you guys receiving it. Uh, it is great to hear your feedback and to receive emails and comments from you guys. And to that end, I got a really encouraging email this week to um, push us a bit further in our spiritual discipline. As I spoke about in episode one of this season, uh, in 2 Timothy, we hear of spiritual disciplines being uh, likened to training, uh, training us for godliness. So I wanted to pick up on that and to delve a bit deeper into the spiritual discipline of studying the Bible. Now, last week I likened reading the Bible to studying a novel. Uh, now, this was something that I brought up from my own experience when I was first getting used to reading the Bible. Uh, because no one really showed me any other way. I'd studied novels in school and things, and I figured, well, the Bible is a book, <laughs> uh, a collection of books, and so it must be fairly similar. But to take the Word of God as purely a literary exercise is to leave so much behind. The Bible is the living, breathing Word of God, and it's absolutely worth taking the time to sit with it and absorb it as you read and pray through all of its beauty and its complexity, because the Bible is complex. It's been written over thousands of years by different authors with different styles and genres, and it's important to reflect on that and to be aware of that as we read. Last week, I pointed to Bible.com. Uh, it's a great place to read the Bible for free online or on their app. And as well as having heaps of different translations of the Bible, they also have uh, study guides and devotions, reading plans that help to shape your habit of reading the Bible. They provide a reading, a bit of a devotion, maybe some prayer points um, for you to uh, reflect on as you read through that passage. And I've used a number of these plans over the years, and I've found them really helpful, especially with the notifications to remind you to read the Bible. It's been great in helping to shape the habit of reading the Bible every day. Or if you prefer something physical, you can check out the library at St. John's. We've got a, a whole room dedicated to Christian books and literature. Uh, you might find uh, a study guide or uh, some other resource there that could help you form this habit. Or uh, if you'd like to purchase your own, you can check out the Christian Book Centre in Greensboro or Coorong. Again, I'll leave uh, links in the description to those uh, stores and you might like to purchase your own book or devotion. With these resources in hand, I do hope that you'll be equipped to uh, take on the habit of studying the Bible daily. As I offered last week, I would love to help take that step with you. Uh, if you would like to reach out, please do email me at andy at stjohnsdc.org.au. If you would like a suggestion for a study to start or a reading plan to start, uh, or if you would like someone to take that step with you, I would love to join with you in following a reading plan that you choose uh, and we can read that together. I would love to support you in that way. That's it for today's St. John's Extra. Again, if you've enjoyed this video and are liking this series, hit the like button down below. That helps us grow on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe as well for free at the link below.